In this practice, we would like to find the magnetic force acting on a semicircle with radius r. But first of all, we would like to find uh, the magnetic force on the conductors. So we consider the conductor of the conductors is A. And the length of the conductors is L. Magnetic field is acting on this field directed toward us. This is magnetic field. Then we like to consider the charged particles in the conductors is moving to the light. Then magnetic force is acting on the, this moving charged particles. So we can use the Lorentz force. F equal to Q B cross B magnetic field. So this is the v velocity of the charged particle, is positive charge. Then you can use your right hand to find that the direction of the magnetic force, Lorentz force. This is the direction. So we have many charged particles in the conductors, all the charged particles. Magnetic force acting on the, all the charged particles. If the, all the charged hard particles have the same velocities of V, then as a whole, these uh, conductors feel the uh, magnetic force, Lorentz force. So we'd like to calculate the total amount of the force acting on the, these conductors. Then you can find that this total amount of force is expressed. The single charge has a magnitude of the Q B B. This is the Lorentz force acting on the single charge. Then how many charged particles exist in the conductors? You have to multiply. Maybe you should write that this is Lorentz force on a single charged particle. Then we have to multiply how many charged particles exist. So A area times L becomes volume. And if you multiply number density, this is number density. And then you can find the total numbers of charged particles. So then this becomes the total amount of the force. This force you can find. And then you can change the uh, this terms this becomes n q b a times l b so this l is here and q is here and the b is here a is here l is here and the b is here Okay, so exactly the same. Then, first in the parenthesis, this is actually it's a definition of the current of I. So it becomes I L B. This is the magnitude of the uh, magnetic force acting on the conductors. Okay, and then we would like to try to solve the questions. So the Cartesian coordinate 
x and y. And the magnetic force is acting. B. And the semicircle with the radius of R. Semicircle with the radius of capital R. I'd like to consider this is semicircle. Then current is flowing on this current. I is flowing. Then so direction of the current is different from the point to the point. So we would like to consider the really small segment. The position of the segment is a theta and the small segment is a d theta. We would like to consider the this small segment. Length of the small segment is a r d theta. This is the length of the small segment. And you can use a right hand rule to find that uh, direction of the forces, Lorentz force acting on the, this small segment. As it's, it's gonna be this direction of the df vectors and the df vectors this vectors force is actually the uh, decompose into two directions so this is dfx sub x x component this is df sub y y component and uh, you can try to discover the total amount of the force acting on the, this semicircle. But in the case of the x component, actually it becomes zero because of the uh, auto automatically you can easily find. You can find uh, also the uh, actually uh, small segment, like uh, this small segment. So on this small segment, Lorentz force is acting in this direction. And the dfx and the df sub y. And this dfx, dfx should be cancelled out. So because of the symmetric figures of the semicircles, Actually, you can easily find x component of the Lorentz force becomes zero. And then we'd like to discover y component. This is the question. So y component, this df sub y. So this is theta, so this becomes theta. So df sub y is e equal to df, this is the magnitude of a df, times sine theta. This is the y component. Okay, and the df, what's the df? df is, a, you can use a, this expression, i times l times b. So current is the same, and the length becomes r d theta. R d theta times b. This is a df. So you can substitute this df here to find the df y. So you can find the df sub y is equal to i r d theta b sine theta. So to find the total amount of Fy, you need to integrate this dfy. 
So you can substitute the DF by is here. I R D theta B sine theta. And because of the D theta, theta is changing from zero to the pi because of the semicircle. Then we could perform the this integrals. I R B is, is uh, independent of the theta that we can move out of the uh, integrals. This becomes minus cosine theta, zero to the pi. So this becomes two i r b. So this is a total amount of force acting on the semicircles. So this actually this is correspond to the if you consider the uh, conductors of this conductor is flowing from the right to the left, you could have the same amount of the force is acting on the conductors. Okay, this is the end of this practice.